NASA-backed International Asteroid Warning Network launched an emergency defense probe after the interstellar comet, also known as 3I Atlas, exhibited unusual behavior. And we're talking to the man who thinks there's way more to this comet than actually meets the eye. This is incredible. Yes, it is. It, it, the name is simply that it, it refers to the third interstellar object, object from outside the solar system that is visiting us. Uh, only the third in history because just over the past decade, we had the survey telescopes to find such things. The time for speculation is over. We have now entered the most critical 48-hour window in the saga of interstellar object 3I Atlas. The date is October 29, 2025. This is the moment of perihelion, the object's closest, fastest, and most violent approach to our sun. It is a moment of immense gravitational stress and peak velocity, and according to the laws of astrogation, it is the single most optimal moment for a craft to perform an engine burn to radically alter its trajectory. This is the Oberth maneuver, and whether 3I Atlas executes it in the coming hours will be the defining event of our time. Recent hard data from solar coronagraphs has effectively debunked rampant online rumors of a premature course change. Imagery taken between October 18th and 24th confirms the object was holding perfectly to its predicted gravitational path. But this stability does not bring comfort. Instead, it adds a chilling layer of calculated precision to the unfolding events, suggesting that if a maneuver is to happen, it will not be erratic, but deliberate and executed with maximum efficiency at the moment of perihelion. For weeks, the narrative has been clouded by misinformation. Claims that 3I Atlas had already performed a reverse thruster sequence and was headed straight to Earth have been definitively proven false by the faint but clear positional data extracted from the GOES-19 satellite. The object has not deviated. It has not decelerated. In fact, it is now accelerating to its peak velocity of a blistering 68 kilometers per second as it slingshots around our star. This confirmation of a stable trajectory has sharpened the focus of every serious analyst onto this single imminent event. The logic is inescapable. An intelligently controlled craft would not waste precious fuel on inefficient burns in deep space. It would wait for the precise moment when the laws of physics offer the greatest return for the smallest expenditure of energy. That moment is now. The stakes are understood at the highest levels. While the alien hypothesis remains, in the words of geoscientist Stefan Burns, a 0.001% probability, it is a possibility that is being treated with the utmost seriousness due to the mountain of anomalous data preceding this event. The unprecedented mobilization of the UN-endorsed International Asteroid Warning Network was not a response to a simple comet. It was an acknowledgement that this object's behavior warrants extraordinary scrutiny. We stand at a profound crossroads. When 3I Atlas emerges from the sun's glare in mid-November, we will have our answer. Either it will be on a predictable hyperbolic exit path, a fascinating but ultimately natural anomaly, or it will be on a completely new trajectory, having just executed a masterful astrogational gambit. The watch is on, and the future of our understanding of the cosmos hangs in the balance. The reason the global scientific and defense communities are holding their breath for the perihelion event is not based on a single piece of evidence, but on a cascading series of observations that, when taken together, paint a portrait of an object so profoundly strange it defies natural explanation. This dossier of high strangeness is the context for the current crisis. These are the eight foundational pillars of anomaly that make the possibility of an Oberth maneuver on October 29th a credible, if world-altering, threat. The Precision Approach Vector 3I Atlas entered our solar system on a trajectory almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk on which our planets orbit. For a random object arriving from the interstellar void, the odds of hitting this narrow orderly path are a mere 0.2%. It's a level of precision that suggests deliberate navigation rather than a chance encounter. The physics-defying anti-tail. 
For months, the object exhibited a powerful jet of material aimed directly towards the sun, a blatant violation of known solar physics. While this later transitioned into a conventional tale, this initial inexplicable behavior could be interpreted as a forward thrusting engine performing a long duration braking burn to shed interstellar velocity. An interstellar behemoth. This object is a giant, estimated to be up to a million times more massive than Umumua. It is the largest and fastest interstellar visitor ever detected. The statistical likelihood of such a monstrous object arriving in our system is less than 0.1%, marking it as a true cosmic outlier. A conveniently timed planetary tour. Its orbital path was exquisitely timed to allow for close observational flybys of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. Crucially, its perihelion, its moment of peak activity, was scheduled to occur while it was in superior conjunction, completely hidden from Earth's direct observation by the Sun's glare. The odds of this convenient masking occurring by chance are just 0.005%. An industrial-grade chemical signature. The gas being vented from the object shows a chemical profile more consistent with industrial alloys than natural bodies. An abnormally high nickel-to-iron ratio and a nickel-to-cyanide ratio that is orders of magnitude different from any known comet strongly suggests an artificial composition. It is also profoundly water-poor, only 4%, a significant departure from typical comets. An experihelion mass ejection. Just before it vanished into the sun's glare, astronomers observed a massive, sudden eruption of water from the object. In standard rocketry, jettisoning excess mass, like heavy water reserves, is a primary and necessary step before conducting a major propulsive maneuver to maximize efficiency. An unexplained and alien surface. The light reflecting from 3I Atlas exhibits extreme negative polarization, a quality never before witnessed in any of the thousands of comets we have cataloged. This implies its surface is made of a material or possesses a texture that is completely alien to our solar system. The chilling echo of the WOW signal. The object arrived from a region of space that aligns with the origin of the 1977 WOW signal, the single most compelling candidate for an artificial extraterrestrial broadcast ever received. The 6% probability of this being a coincidence is, for many, too slim to ignore. This accumulated evidence is why the stable trajectory data from the coronagraphs did not end the speculation, it sharpened it. It showed us an object behaving with precision, holding a perfect course right up to the singular moment where a change would be most effective. It is this dossier of impossibility that forces us to seriously consider the question, if it does perform an Oberth maneuver, where is it going? Rampant speculation has, predictably, focused on a doomsday scenario where 3I Atlas performs a burn and sets a direct course for Earth. A rigorous strategic analysis based on the principles of colonization and resource acquisition suggests this is the least likely outcome. An advanced interstellar entity, capable of traversing the void for millennia, would not engage in such a clumsy and inefficient endgame. Targeting Earth is a poor strategic choice for several critical reasons. The gravity well. Earth possesses a deep and powerful gravity well. Landing a massive object or deploying forces to the surface is energetically expensive. More importantly, leaving Earth is just as difficult. It acts as a gravitational trap, a poor choice for a staging ground for further solar system operations. The planetary immune system. Earth is inhabited by over 8 billion intelligent, territorial, and unpredictable beings, armed with technologies capable of posing a threat. Any direct approach would be met with what would amount to a planetary-scale immune response. It would be a messy, unpredictable, and costly engagement, something a technologically superior but numerically limited force would seek to avoid. Redundant resources. 
while Earth is rich in resources, those same resources – water, silicates, metals, carbon – are available elsewhere in the solar system in vast quantities, unprotected and located in low-gravity environments that make extraction and transport exponentially easier. The flyby of Mars already provided a clue. The object passed close to the red planet, another prime candidate for colonization, and showed no signs of stopping, landing, or deploying any assets. It simply gathered data and continued on its path. An intelligent force is not looking for a fight. It is looking for the most efficient path to long-term dominance and sustainability. That path does not lead to Earth. It leads to the king of planets, Jupiter. If 3i Atlas executes an Oberth maneuver at perihelion, the change in its trajectory need not be dramatic. A relatively slight acceleration, a burn of just a few kilometers per second, would be enough to alter its exit vector, shifting it from a path that swings wide of Jupiter to one that allows for a direct orbital insertion in March of 2026. Settling the Jovian system is the ultimate strategic checkmate for any entity seeking to colonize our solar system, offering overwhelming advantages that Earth cannot match. 1. Ganymede, the crown jewel and ultimate beachhead. The primary target within the Jovian system would undoubtedly be Ganymede. The largest moon in our solar system, larger than the planet Mercury, Ganymede is a world-class prize for several critical reasons a self-shielding world. It is the only moon in the solar system with its own intrinsic magnetic field. This magnetosphere would provide a natural and essential shield against the lethal radiation belts of Jupiter, protecting any settlement on its surface. An accessible oxygen supply. Ganymede has a thin but present oxygen atmosphere. An advanced technology could easily harvest and concentrate this oxygen upon arrival, providing a breathable atmosphere for biodomes and personnel before large-scale life support systems are even established. It allows a colony to hit the ground running. A vast subsurface ocean. Beneath its thick crust of ice lies a colossal ocean of liquid water, estimated to contain more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. This provides a virtually unlimited supply of water for life support and, more importantly, can be easily broken down via hydrolysis into hydrogen and oxygen, the most powerful chemical rocket fuel. Ganymede is a self-contained, self-fueling oasis. A low-gravity launch pad. Ganymede's surface gravity is a mere 1.4 meters per second compared to Earth's 9.8 meters per second. This is perhaps its greatest strategic asset. The tyranny of the rocket equation that makes launching large payloads from Earth so difficult would be virtually non-existent. A base on Ganymede could construct and launch massive interplanetary vessels with astonishing ease, making it the perfect hub for accessing the entire solar system. 2. A system of inexhaustible resources Beyond Ganymede, the Jovian system is a treasure trove. The moons of Europa and Callisto also harbor vast subsurface oceans, providing redundant sources of water and fuel. This creates the potential for a triad of powerful, self-sufficient colonies. Furthermore, Jupiter's immense gravity has trapped two massive swarms of asteroids in its orbit, known as the Trojan asteroids. These bodies, rich in high-grade metals and minerals, are gravitationally locked 60 degrees ahead of and behind Jupiter. This stable resonance makes them the perfect mining outposts. Unlike the main asteroid belt, a mining operation in the Trojans would not see its asteroid drift across the solar system. It remains in a stable, easily accessible location for round-trip missions from a Ganymede base. It is an unlimited, conveniently located supply chain for building an industrial empire in space. 3. The Uncontested Command Post from a fortified and self-sufficient base in the Jovian system, an interstellar entity would be untouchable and could project power across the entire solar system uncontested. We, on Earth, possess absolutely no capability to challenge or even reach such an outpost in a meaningful time frame. 
they could explore and colonize the rest of the solar system, from the outer gas giants to Mars and the asteroid belt, at their leisure, establishing a presence so widespread that they would become the de facto rulers of the system before we could even mount a response. Going to Jupiter is not just about finding a home, it's about establishing dominance. While its destination remains the most pressing question, the mystery of 3i Atlas's origin adds another layer of profound depth to the unfolding drama. If we assume the object as a craft, where could it have come from? While the universe is vast, a compelling candidate has been identified that aligns with the object's trajectory and known astronomical data. Located just 5.96 light-years away, Bernard's star is a red dwarf and the second closest star system to our own. Using astronomical software like Stellarium to trace 3i Atlas's entry point into our system reveals a close positional alignment with Bernard Star's location in our night sky, specifically in the constellation of Ophihiacus. While this is not definitive proof, it is a tantalizing clue. The travel time also aligns. At the object's observed interstellar velocity of approximately 60 kilometers per second, a journey from Bernard's star to our solar system would take roughly 30,000 years. This is a vast span of time for humanity, but a plausible duration for an interstellar arc or a generational ship. It's also entirely possible that the craft traveled at a much higher velocity for most of its journey and performed a long deceleration burn before we ever detected it, significantly shortening the travel time. We know that Bernard's star hosts at least four and possibly more exoplanets, making it a plausible home for an advanced civilization. While this remains informed speculation, it provides a chillingly plausible backstory for our visitor, not a random rock, but a messenger from our nearest cosmic neighbors. We are at the precipice. The perihelion of 3i Atlas on October 29th is not just another astronomical event. It is the fulcrum on which our understanding of the universe may pivot. The coronagraph data has provided a final, stable baseline, dispelling the noise of premature speculation and focusing all attention on this singular, optimal moment for a maneuver. The mountain of anomalous data provides a compelling justification for why we must watch. The strategic logic points not to Earth, but to a silent, calculated play for the Jovian system. In the hours and days to come, as new observational data begins to trickle in from a freshly mobilized global network of telescopes, we will learn the truth. We will know whether 3i Atlas will continue its journey back into the void as a profound natural mystery, or whether it has just executed the opening move in a cosmic game of chess we are only now beginning to comprehend. Either outcome will change everything. The watch is on. The silence of space is about to be broken.